Hi, it's Ash and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to dive into a question that I received from one of you regarding the benefits of barefoot shoes and whether they are better for us in terms of our running and our running performance. Now this is something that I am really passionate about and I'm looking forward to sharing my answer. But first off, let's talk about the function of the foot. Now, our feet are the foundations of our whole body acting as that proprioceptive tool, which basically means that they play a, a significant role in sending crucial information between the brain and body so that it can adapt as we run. So if they need to take a, a slight different in, in surface or movement in as we walk and as we run. And they're also, our feet are part of a closed chain system that is our body, our organism, which means that issues at the feet could transfer and do transfer up the body now if you think issues at the feet could go into the ankle could go into the knees could go into the hips and, and the lower back and that is something that we do see regularly so that's why it's so important the feet are our foundations that we have strong foundations so when we wear barefoot shoes we allow our feet to function as they are naturally designed to now this means that they are able to better sense the, uh, what's going on and have that better sensory feedback, that proprioception. We have an improved balance because we can feel what is obviously going on and we have a more natural running gait because of that. So by training and running in barefoot shoes, we can strengthen the muscles in the feet and in the lower leg muscles, which ultimately leads to better overall performance and biomechanics. Now, I won't deny that cushioned shoes have their benefits. That is absolutely true. And especially in terms of performance when studies have shown us that the cushioned shoes can lead to improved running times and performance of by two to four percent, two to four percent increase in performance, particularly in elites, as these studies have been done in elites. But there is a trade off and while cushioned shoes can enhance our performance and our ability to run quicker, they often do at the expense of natural function. And as I mentioned, the function of the foot. So the performance comes at the expense of the function of the foot. Now, cushioned shoes can reduce the sensory feedback from the ground through into the foot, which leads to weaker muscles over time it leads to that weaker ability to be able to sense what's going on and this can cause compensatory issues in the body and increase the risk of injuries because we're making having to make compensatory adjustments so not just in the feet other muscles are potentially going to get damaged so throughout the body we're going to cause issues by not allowing the feet to function as they am so it's putting a band-aid on a problem rather than actually addressing the root cause so in my opinion the function of the foot should be our primary focus and it is my primary focus that is how i choose shoes and why i choose shoes so by allowing our feet to work as they naturally should we can build stronger foundations which enhance our proprioception again our ability to sense and feel what is going on that will ultimately reduce our risk of injury so barefoot shoes promote this natural function making them a great option for those that are looking to train our bodies in a more holistic way and we know that cushioned shoes don't reduce injury rates because we've had cushioned shoes for 50 to 60 years now and what we've seen is actually no movement in the amount of injuries we've actually seen an increase in runners getting injured and look at many different studies it can be anywhere between 70 to 80 percent of runners getting injured every single year now if cushioned shoes were preventing injuries we would see a reduction in those injury rates because obviously there's a lot of people vast majority of runners use cushion trainers those uh, cushion trainers should as they claim protect and prevent injuries so the injury rate should be coming down which is something we don't see so to sum it up whilst cushion shoes absolutely do offer a performance boost and a performance benefit barefoot shoes 
can help maintain the natural function of our feet and create those good strong foundations. It's a more natural way to exercise our body, which I believe is crucial for overall body health. If you can sense and feel better, then your body is more connected. You are more aware of what is actually going on in your body. But if you're thinking about making the switch, make sure you do take time, make sure it's a slow and gradual process, process as you go from cushion shoes. It takes a lot of time, up to six months, maybe even six to eight months to, proper, to properly transition and allow the body to function um, with with uh, barefoot running shoes on, If you, especially if you are running in barefoot shoes. It, take, it took me uh, several months and I, would go out and run my usual 5k distances when I started transitioning straight from uh, cushion shoes into barefoot and I got quite severely damaged calf muscles from thinking that I could run the same length of time and distance so it does you t have to be patient and if you if, if this is something that you're interested in you, you take your time and make sure you build up your lower leg muscle strength and you then gradually increase your ability to run uh, in barefoot shoes I hope that's been helpful and like I say my opinion and my the way that I look at barefoot shoes is I see barefoot shoes as a way for me to improve the function of my body that's why I choose barefoot running shoes and I know that that's not for everyone you might you might prefer fashion so you might prefer the way a certain brand looks and the certain tra trainer looks but that will always be and that's sorry and you may, I may also prefer uh, performance boosts again but those two things fashion and performance will always come at the expense of function and that's a personal choice I understand on that so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have just please give it a thumbs up or put thanks for the video or let me know what if you wear cushion shoes or if you wear, wear um, barefoot shoes in the comments i do greatly love reading and replying to all your comments and share this video with somebody that would benefit from this or is interested in this topic and also if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel so thank you for watching this video and i, I shall see you in the next one